little Cindy's Christmas dolls putting a hurting on your bank account? Little Johnny wants the new Apple. I can't afford that. You haven't had a knife in weeks? Well, get yourself a Kubi. Scratch that itch. Alright everybody, I'm going to check out a couple Kubis with you tonight, and I have a bunch more to look at, so I'm going to kind of stack these up. I bought so many Kubis in the last month or so, that doing one at a time is going to take me from now until the new year, and i got other videos that need to be done. Alright, so we're going to start with this one right here. This is the Kubi KU120, and I'm just going to make it really quick and say if you have a 450, a ZT450, and you ever wanted a Tanto G10 D2 450, there you go, right there, that's it. But for everybody else that doesn't have a 450, we're going to go ahead and get into this. So you got one, two, three, right at three inches. Stretch it a little bit. Check up. Yep, three inches of D2, that Tanto blade. Check that out. You got the Angry Kami Monkey logo right there, right next to the Kubi. And you got the little D2 jobber right there. You can see that. All right. Now we can't get into the action yet. That's not how it goes. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, I think four and a quarter inches of this catchy, scratchy G10. It, that's a rough texture on it. You can hear that, listen. But it's not like rough to where it hurts. It's just a rough, good grip on it. Now, just like the, the 450, it's, it feels like my pinky wants to be pushed off. It's not, and I think it's because of this forward area, but if you like the 450, and it gives me a little bit more room for the 450 because of the way this slides up here at the back. So, if you're a 450 fan, I think you'd like that. And the thing is, this thing is, wait, let me check before I lie. 17 bucks on Amazon. Check that out. And it runs on bearings. It has really good action. It's not going to hurt your finger or nothing. Like that. There you go. Generous lanyard hole. I just haven't had anything to put in there yet. But I'm going to. I wonder if you can stick some. Sometimes I like to take the. Oh, it's not going to work. Sometimes I like to put it on the standoff. But there's not enough room in there. Even if there's a lanyard hole, sometimes the standoff feels better. But the lanyard hole right there at the end looks awesome. So I'm going to stick something in there for sure. Now it is right side tip up only carry on this. So lefties, you're going to have to adapt as I have, obviously. There you go. Open construction. Let's see, the scales are milled out nicely. This thing, with this, for as thick as these these scales are, it doesn't feel real heavy in the hand. I'll tell you what, I've been working on this one knife. Holy heck, my finger hurts. Yeah, I know I got sensitive fingers. I hear you. You don't even have to, you don't even have to say anything. I know what you're gonna say. All right, so, open construction. Excellent action, just It's not even difficult at all. I wonder if we can push button this. This is gonna hurt because my finger hurts. There we go, push button works. You know, of course the light switch, perfect. This thing is just awesome. 17 bucks for D2 and G10 and a great, great little throwdown knife. Great little, for a great little EDC. Take three on that. All right, so let me get the scale out. Come on. You dirty no good. There's a lot of drama for nothing. All right, let's check this out. So, I know it seems like I'm hurrying, but I want to get both these knives in in under 11 minutes. Let's see if that works. That can't be right. Is that right? Under three ounces? No. Give me something else to weigh. How much does, uh... Damn it, under three ounces, really? How much does my Demco weigh? Huh. Are we 
this is an ounce. Let me reset this. Well, look at that. It's almost a pocket chunker. Look at that. Holy heck. That is, guys, go get you one of these. I still like feeling that maybe this scales off. No? That's about right. I guess I should have looked at the specs first. So now I'm surprised. Look at that. It's under three ounces. That's awesome. This is a pocket chunker. You know, we had to stretch the blade to get to three, so it's under three inch blade or just at three inches, under three ounces. Great. Y'all are going to love this knife. Seriously. If y'all are looking for something that's light and effective and useful, G10, D2, bearings, holy heck, for 17 bucks. I'm going to go get me another one right now. All right, so there you go. Very cool knife. This is the Kubi KU120, and it's over on Amazon for 17 bucks. Great little Christmas stocking stuffer type knife. Man, I didn't realize how light it was. That's awesome. Okay, so this one is kind of an interesting, kind of a niche that kind of knife that you might be looking at. Now, they got a bunch of these over there. This is the, let me make sure I'm getting the right one here. This is the DM146. And it says A. I'm not sure what the A stands for. But, oh, let's see if I can get this. Ah, first try. Check that out. Now, if you're looking for a cool little knife to stick in your pocket, now you're not looking for something to do work, but maybe you want to get something out to whittle your apple or cut your banana or whatever you're going to do with it, just a cool little office knife or something. Man, man I'm an expert this when nobody's looking. All right, this is pretty cool. So let's check it out. It is, this is going to be legal a lot of places, one, about one and three quarter inches. And what, the, I talked to the Kubi folks. Now what this is, is VG10, and they've etched it to make it look like it's almost damascus -y, which it's not, but you can kind of see the ripples there, and you kind of see the little, what do you call that, like a ham on or whatever. Almost looked like there's the taco blade in there but it's all one steel and it's vg10 which is a good steel especially for the price of this knife so ah, come on now come on now there we go got the little kubi logo there can you see that angry commie monkey it doesn't have the steel on here but i've talked to the guy several times and he says it's vg10 acid etched to look almost damascus -y. i'll tell you what though this thing is super super sharp you find something to cut besides my finger. You can't cut your finger. All right, all right. Ah, no. Bad TV, bad TV. I don't want to edit all this out. Where are my coupons? Dirty, no clicks. Sounds a... Sounds a... All right, hold on, let me get it. Don't go crazy. Don't turn that dial. If you all children that don't know what turn that dial means, don't push that button. Look at that. Look how sharp that thing came. Holy heck. Look at that. Just like... <laughs> now I'm just ripping the paper because I'm laughing. But seriously, this thing is sharp. Look at that. This is fun. All right. So there you go on that. Now what you got here is, let's check it out. One, two, like two and three quarters inches of this handle, which is a mix of steel covered with titanium. So titanium covered steel, what does it say exactly here? Titanium coated steel bolster. So you got that. Rosewood back here, really cool blue coloring. Really cool checkered look here. Check that out. Yeah, it comes with this little lanyard. I cut the ends off because the ends were getting in my way, but I like the rest of this lanyard. Kind of helps me hold on to it. But this thing flips open like it's assisted when you're not trying to do it with your other finger. So right-handed, I'm really good at it. Now see, left-handed, I have to do it this way because they put that little thing up a little higher over here, see? So I can't do it that way. I'm pretty good at it. Ow! I stabbed myself! Ow! 
All right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Check that out. It's got a nice, cool-looking blue backspacer here. And just a cool, fun knife. I'm telling you, I haven't put this thing down. I got this knife and another knife that I've been messing with, and I've used this knife a lot to open boxes, and I've used it to actually cut my steak a couple times this week. And is this a cool little knife to just stick in your pocket and almost forget about but super useful and really pretty to look at. And it doesn't really dangerous look at. So if you want to carry this in the office, not a, not a bad idea. So, now this one's a little more expensive. This one's 34 bucks. And you know, you might be thinking, well, 34 bucks, I can, I can buy, I can buy two of these. And you can, that's true. But if you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe, <laughs> something you can't flip every time, makes you look like a fool on camera, this could be the one. All right, so let's see how much this thing weighs. You know what, I wonder if this weighs more than that. Who's, what do you think? Don't don't watch the rest of it. Put your answer down there. Okay, now let's see what, let's see what the answer is. Okay, did you pause it? All right, we're gonna see. Oh, it was close. It was close, it's a little chunker. Still, it's still in the pocket chunker though. Still pocket chunker, so there you go. <laughs> All right, I snapped it. 40% of the time, he's accurate every time. <laughs> so there you go, this is a really neat little knife, little three finger, two, uh, almost like a two and a half finger knife for me. But with a lanyard, I'm good. But even without the lanyard, it kind of works for me. It's pretty cool little pocket chunker. So there you go, and there you go. All right, and before I get all the disparaging comments about Kubi, owning me or whatever i bought these knives i <laughs> kubi has sent me two knives compared to the probably 40 i've bought in the last two months so kubi doesn't own me i'm just trying to give you all a really cool heads up on some excellent knives that's my whole job here tell you what to buy not what to tell you but you know say hey if you buy this <laughs> i shouldn't talk into this all right concentrate no oh, it doesn't matter <laughs> All right, so there you go. Two really excellent knives. This is a super budget knife, D2 bearings, G10, and just super flippy, 17 bucks. And this one, just a kind of a pretty, neat little knife. My wife likes it, my mom liked it. All right, so I guess that's it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. How's Kubi working for you? I got a, I got a couple more, not a couple, I got a bunch more Kubis to look at. And I'll probably be doing it between now and Christmas around that time. But if you have any questions, email me and I'll send you some good recommendations on, on the knives. There's a couple that I'm not too crazy about. There's one that kind of eats up your finger. I think I mentioned it during the live stream. Okay, that's all, I guess. Let me know what you think. Which one do you like? Is this, you know, 34 bucks for VG10 blade and a really cool rosewood handle. That's not bad. All right, I will talk to y'all later.